For Christopher Izala, a chance to play in the National Football League isn't just any ordinary dream. It's a goal he's been working towards his entire life. I started playing football when I was 13 years old. And <laughs> it was funny, I played flag football and I was really chubby. A good friend of mine in school asked me, hey, Chris, do you want to play football? I was like, hmm, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not strong enough, I'm not big enough. He's like, come over. I said, okay, first practice, I couldn't do more than five push-ups. But I loved how the team was, how they stood together, how they motivated each other, how they just run the plays, how they just were flying around and being happy. And I was like, okay, I have to stay here. I really felt that I can make it to the next level. And the first thing I said was, I want to play fullback in the league. But I didn't even know what a fullback it was, you know? For me, football is not just a sport. I have to do it. After climbing the ranks of the German-American football leagues, Christopher attracted the attention of scouts from the NFL. He's been invited to join the NFL Pathway Program, where he'll train alongside four other international prospects for the chance to make an NFL roster. I tried to be part of this program the first year, but it didn't work out. I was so sad about it because am I able to play in the league? Will I be going to America? Chris has three months to prepare himself for Pro Day, an event where scouts from across the league will measure and test Christopher in a series of drills designed to determine where he ranks against other aspiring NFL players. I will get that phone call. I'm speechless. I know because it's a dream since I was a child. For Chris, the journey to the NFL began long before he arrived in the United States in the form of a letter he wrote to himself promising he'd one day make it to the National Football League. Came back one day, I told me, yeah, now I've found what is good for me. I said, like what? He said, American football. I said, wow, American football? I said, but it's not our thing here in Europe, you know? He told me, Chris, make me proud and fulfill it. That letter, he, like, he could have thrown it away he could do whatever with it, but he had it and left it at home because he knew what type of man I am because he knows me. And he knew that I would be like pushing hard, fulfilling my dream. He's my mentor. And I just wanted to show them that I'm able. The schedule, the worst days are Monday and Friday. Because Monday and Fridays we have a triple day. That means we wake up, we got combat movement. After that, we go to the gym, have a lift session. Oh my god. Then we got lunch. And after lunch, we hit in the classroom, then we hit in the field. On the control. Feel that. Boom. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Now finish. Now you're doing a good job with your movements. I mean, you have you have really come a long way since uh, since we've been here. You feel pretty good about it, yeah, coach. Can you see? And can you? And one of the things that I like for you to do all, as well is visualize the position that you want yourself in. I mean, right now, so that when we get out on the field, it's it's just carryover. The people here, the facility here. For example, the Normatec, what we're using, <laughs> we don't have that in Germany. The hyperbaric chamber, never heard of it before. <laughs> we have a lot of other things like NFL mindset, where they um, help us. My thoughts in my head, my mindset. Hearing yourself breathe can be relaxing for the brain. For me, uh, I never played like really pro, and it's just a different type of pressure to deal with. 20 left leg. When you touch the foot, that's one. Inside cat, there you go. You alright? You're good, good. Uncle, you dead? <laughs> Come on, Chris. That's the tongue you're straightening. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Right. I know what to do. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 
we had to get used to everything, right? But we couldn't. We couldn't. Because it was so hard. You start to sweat. You do so much things, and they try to bring everything out of us, and it worked out. I am shocked how much potential is in me, and it's just the beginning. Let's go, Chris! Do it for Wakanda. Oh my God! <laughs> Someone is able to do, why can't you do it as well? Like, we're just humans. And that's why I'm not giving up, and that's why I want to grind and grind, and see how far I can get. We got a protest next week, right? That's awesome. Yeah. All right, who's breaking it down? Chris, let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. What do we got? Are you on three? Are you on three? One, two, three. Are you? Pro Day has arrived. Three months of hard work will be put to the test in front of NFL scouts. The most important thing that I want to show them is how fast I am, that I can play running back as well, half back as well, if they needed me. With the players we look for, Chris is so explosive and he's, he's such a competitor. And he's so tough the way he plays the game, he plays the game the right way. And I think that value to teams is going to be huge for him. If you really push and fight and grind, you will fulfill and get to that point you want to be. And that's why I'm not giving up. Chris's tireless training pays off as he shines throughout the workout. Now all that's left to do is wait. I was waiting for this moment. That's, yeah, a couple of minutes, I'll get that call. That call. Hello? Christopher? Yep. I'm good, sir. That's awesome. <laughs> For Christopher Izala, wearing an NFL uniform isn't just another accomplishment. It's a lifetime dream realized and a promise to himself fulfilled. My next goal is to become the best player I can get. I don't know where my limit ends. I don't know where my potential ends. So I'm gonna train as hard as possible. But I know that I wanna be great and I am willing to work my ass off. The higher you raise the bar, the higher your dreams are, there's no limit. There's really no limit. <laughs>